Hello guys and welcome to another Financial Markets Weekly Update video. My name is Liliana, I'm the Head of Investments and Market Research at Pure and in today's video we're going to see how the commodities, stocks and crypto markets reacted to the news and also what to expect in the current week from the markets. In the previous week we had the Consumer Confidence. The conference board measures of consumer confidence fell more than expected in June to 98.7 from a downwardly revised 103.2, where the consensus was at 100. We also had the US ISM manufacturing PMI. A measure of US manufacturing activity weakened in June to a two year low as new orders contracted, restrained by lingering supply constraints and some softening in demand. The Institute for Supply Management GOSH decreased to 53 last month from 56.1 in May, according to data released on the previous Friday. Readings above 50 indicate expansion. The figure was weaker than most economists estimates in a Bloomberg survey, which had a median projection of 54.5. Now let's move on into the crypto news of the current week. British Army social media accounts hacked and flouted with crypto posts. On Sunday, hackers gained access to the official Twitter, Facebook and YouTube accounts of the British Army and advertised fraudulent non-fungible token collections and cryptocurrency scams for almost four hours. In other news, according to a report from Coindesk, a paper trail from Free Arrows Capital has led to discover a hidden legal entity that could potentially be shielding some assets from recovery. FTX US Inc.'s credit deal with BlockFi, which includes option to acquire BlockFi for $240 million. On Friday, FTX US signed an agreement to inject capital into BlockFi through a $400 million revolving credit line, along with an option to purchase the crypto lender for as much as $240 million. Along with a few other potential considerations, this brings the total value to $680 million. We also have MicroStrategy, which bought an additional $10 million worth of Bitcoin. On Wednesday, MicroStrategy revealed that it purchased and added an additional 480 um, Bitcoins worth around $10 million to its balance sheet. It cost the company approximately $20,817 on average to buy this Bitcoin. MicroStrategy is currently the largest corporate Bitcoin holder with 129,699 Bitcoins in its possession following the acquisition. Its holdings are valued at about $3.98 billion in total. Last but not least, we have Grayscale, which sues SEC over rejection of spot Bitcoin ETF application. Grayscale Investments has filed a lawsuit against the US Securities and Exchange Commission after the regulator rejected a bid by the group to list its Bitcoin trust and as an exchange traded fund in New York. The lawsuit was filed immediately within the four hour of the rejection. The rejection cited reasons of market manipulation and the lack of a surveillance sharing agreement between a regulated market of significant size and a regulated exchange. The lawsuit will argue that the existence of approval for Bitcoin futures ETF validates that there is an underlying market that is reliable. Now let's move into the current week's news. In the current week, we have the FOMC meeting minute, which could highlight what is next for the Federal Reserve in terms of rates. Most importantly, we have the non-farm payrolls and unemployment rate. Consensus is 275,000 for NFP and 3.6% for unemployment rates. That's all the news for the current week, guys. That's also what happened in the previous week in the markets. So if you have any questions or if you want to open a trading account with us, you can contact us through our social media or our website. We'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you for watching and wishing you a profitable trading week.